Hi, my name's Mark Southern. I'm the head chef at O'Connell Street Bistro and I've got another fantastic barbecue recipe for you guys this summer. A great selection of seafood here, big thick tuna steak which we're gonna sear on the barbecue and serve it nice and rare in the middle. Fantastic banana prawns, I'm gonna show you how to peel them. We've got miso dressing and of course the star of the show, eggplants. These are great on the barbecue. We get nice charred flavor in there and then we're gonna dress it with a miso dressing as well. So first job, we're gonna do the prawns. Really easy to do. We've got the heads on, a shell on as well. All you need to do, hold the prawn, twist and pull to remove the head. And you just peel in that really fine, almost membrane off. And then if you get the tail, give it a good squeeze and pull. And there you go, there's your prawn. And carefully skewer through the small part of the tail. Keep going until your entire skewer is filled with the prawns. Pop that on a plate. A little bit of olive oil over the top. And then we've got some tagarashi. So this is Japanese spice. We'll sprinkle it on both sides. Prawns are done, let's sort our tuna out. So I'm just gonna drizzle it with some olive oil and just season it with salt and pepper on both sides. All right, so just flip it over, a little bit more olive oil, a little bit of pepper, and a bit more salt, and that is ready to go. All we're gonna do now is make a quick and easy dressing. So I've got some mirin as well, so very prominent in Japanese cuisine. Some soy sauce as well for saltiness. A little bit of peanut oil as well, just to bind it all together. And then miso as well. So this is fermented bean curd, and just work that in so it just mixes into the dressing. Right, now we're gonna freshen up the whole dressing with some fresh ginger. Just gonna cut a nice little square again by peeling it. So really sharp knife, and we're just gonna do some thin slices. And then we cut it into matchsticks, and then we're gonna go across, and you get this really fine dice. If you're not that confident in chopping this fine, just use a grater and that's just going in the dressing. Just gonna get a little bit of lime, finish it off just for a little bit of acidity. That's ready to go. I'm gonna take that down to the barbecue and I've also got a nice plate of garnish to finish the salad. We've got our egg here, it's nice and hot. We're at 260 degrees, so that's what we want. First of all, we need to do the eggplant. So I'm just gonna take the top off the eggplant, so about a centimeter thick, nice long strips. And now we want to score them. So just lightly, going about two, three mils in, and then we're just going to crisscross them. And this is going to help the eggplant cook a bit faster, and it's going to allow all that dressing, once the eggplant is cooked, to soak up inside the eggplant and make it super tasty. Do it to the rest of your eggplant, a little bit of salt and some olive oil, and then straight onto a hot barbecue. Right, that's ready to go on a hot grill. You want to hear that sizzle straight away. Pop the lid down, two, three minutes. We'll come and check it, flip it. We'll do the same on the other side until the eggplant's cooked. Right, the eggplant is nearly ready. Let's have a look. Just give it a light prod. It's nice and soft. We've got some great color on there. Here's your dressing. And then generously, a couple of spoons over each slice of eggplant. And now it's time to cook the fish. Just give it a good sort of mix around so we've got a nice coverage of oil on top. And then we're just gonna pop it straight onto the barbecue. Again, you wanna hear that sizzle. We know it's hot and you don't want to mess around with it now. Just pop it on and leave it for a couple of minutes before you turn it. Right, good time to put the prawns on now. Right, so I'm going to leave the lid up now. I'm not going to bake it. I want to sear the tuna, all right? It's raw, we're going to serve it raw in the middle. All right, let's have a little peek. You can see we're starting to get those lines from the uh, grill. I'm just going to flip the prawns now. You can see they're sort of turning opaque. They're starting to cook. They will not take long. Flip that over. Another minute or two, and then we're gonna take that off. We don't want to overcook it. See, it's nice and soft in the middle. Right, tuna's ready to come off. Just carefully lift it off the grill. Prawns are good too, we'll take them off. Let it rest for a minute or so, and then, then we'll slice it. It's gonna get the tuna, and we're gonna do some nice long slices. Sharp knife, go across the grain. So you can see, still nice and rare on the inside. And we've got those nice char marks on the outside, and it's just cooking in. So the eggplant's been marinating for a couple of minutes. We're just gonna do some nice long strips. The great thing about cooking on the skewer, so easy to turn. Look at that, it's looking absolutely fantastic at the moment. Some spring onion, and then we're just gonna sprinkle that. A little bit of chili as well. Long slices, really thin slices. Just gives you a nice freshness and another kick. Sprinkle that over, and then we'll finish with a little bit of coriander. Just gonna drizzle some of the dressing all over the top. And there you go. So that's my summer barbecued fish salad. We've got prawns on there, we've got tagarashi, miso, that char-grilled eggplant, and of course the seared tuna. If you want this recipe, go to foodtv.co.nz and have a great summer barbecuing.